An important part of keeping isopods in captivity is determining their sex. This knowledge is especially important when you're trying to breed out a certain morph and you only have a couple of isopods with the desired coloration. Unfortunately though, because they are such small creatures, telling males and females apart can be quite tricky. But hopefully after this video, you should have a better understanding on how to determine an isopod's gender. Let's first look at the dorsal view of an isopod. Overall, adult male isopods tend to be longer in size, whereas adult females tend to be shorter and wider. In most species, such as Pacellio, Pacellionides and Oniscus, the exopods of males are also longer than females. Because of these differences, sexing can be successfully done with most individuals by simply comparing the dorsal views. But young isopods and some species such as Armadillidium vulga can be difficult to sex just by viewing them dorsally. Sexing the difficult ones must be done ventrally. For most species, the long slender endopods of the first two pleopods of males are modified to serve as copulatory organs, or gonopods. The pleopods of females are unmodified. The species Ligia, on the other hand, only has the second endopod modified. On the ventral perion of females, you will also find the marsupium, or brood pouch. This pouch is formed of thin, membranous brood plates and is located on the first five pairs of periopods. Together, these 10 flexible plates hold eggs, which are held until they are fully developed and then are released once the baby isopods are able to fend for themselves. The marsupium is not present in males. Now that we've discussed the physical differences between male and female, let's play a little game to put your newly found knowledge to the test. I'm about to show you some photos and videos of the common species of isopods found in Australia. Your goal is to correctly guess which are the male isopods just by looking at the footage. Let's start with the smooth slater beetle, Pacellia levis. Which one of these photos is the male? Now let's observe the ventral view. Which one of these is the male? Now let's move on to the next species, the rough slate beetle, Pasalio scaber. Looking at the dorsal view, which one of these is the male? Which one of these is the male? Can you guess which one is the male just by watching this video? Now for a harder round featuring the isopod with 10,000 names, the roly-poly Armadillidium vulgar. Comparing these two dorsal views, which one do you think is the male? Now look at the ventral views. Which one is the male? 